gentlemen, Walter presents That Snow Lady, that's Darcel 15 and Company. to you, beautiful, beautiful women from Portland area. We are so proud and happy. We have title holders from the Portland community. We are so pleased. I'm going to start by introducing to you right now, because I want to get right into the show, ladies and gentlemen. No dilly-dallying around with foo 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 because we've got enough to talk about. I want to talk, first of all, I would like to introduce to you the very lovely Nan Troutman from Troutman Profiles. Nan Troutman. How are you? I'm great. You look lovely. <laughs> Nan and I met a few weeks ago. Oh, months ago. We had dinner together. Yes. A wonderful, intimate dinner with 800 people there. Oh, it was very, very nice. It was nice. Very Nan, intimate. I intimate dinner. Intimate. Nan, um, you have, uh, you started your agency. When did you start your agency? My agency began September of 1982. 1982. Mm -hmm. And before that, were you an actress? Yes, I was. Where? Oh, just everywhere. I was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> a real star. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good. But you started your agency because there was a need in Portland for that sort of thing, right? Or, there was a real need. And when I started my agency, I started primarily with print, meaning models. And there was a real need because there's a lot of talent in Portland and have gone in to make some pretty big names for themselves. And uh, there's a lot of work in Portland now, too, because movies are coming here. A lot of work, movies, national commercials, uh, national campaigns. We have a lot of national companies based here, too, for campaigns. <coughs> White Stag, um, Pendleton, Janssen, Nike, Nike. Avia. Um, did I miss somebody? Uh, well, if you did, they won't, it won't no, matter no. because you probably don't have <laughs> those clients anyway. Right. <laughs> so. You won't hire <laughs> you, you keep a stable. Do it. Is that what they call a stable? Yeah, we like to call it a stable, a talent, and when there is a large call, we call it a cattle call. It gets right down to the you basics. Bet, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just arrive, right? Yeah, flattering terms. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you probably feel like that before the day's over. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. they do. Absolutely. But probably some of the ladies that we have with us tonight have probably been in some of those cattle calls because I know they didn't get where they are tonight or with their titles uh, by not going through some of these. Oh, yeah. Some absolutely. of these. Uh, there's some cool. lovely ladies here tonight, too. Yeah, you're going to sign them all up? Yeah, I got mine a couple of them. All right. All right. <laughs> Man, stay right where you are. You're, you're mic'd, and so we can talk to you during the thing. Come up with, during the show, come up with anything you'd like. Because, um, oh, before we go on to the, the ladies, tell me about the 80s. Tell me about what, what are they looking for? I mean, you know, in the 60s, they were looking for probably what I... Never mind. <laughs> Actually, in the 60s, what they were looking for was a, was a real anorexic look. And now with Paulina, things have really opened up. And now what they're really looking for is voluptuous. We're back in business. <laughs> <laughs> we are back in business. I knew if I hung around long enough. <laughs> That's you right. You mean the, the meat on the bones, huh? Oh, yes. They want to see hips and a bus line. Oh, my God. <laughs> Some of these ladies now are just cringing right here on stage. They're doing just fine. <laughs> that's yeah. right. All right, that's it, huh? That's what they're looking for now. Yeah. What about what about a middle-aged ladies? Are there is there a call? Oh, there's a market that's really growing for not only middle-aged ladies but but for large sizes and petite. The whole market is exploding. There's a lot that's happening, but there's more and more work for the middle-aged lady. Of course, men always worked. You know, it didn't matter how they got, they worked. Oh, I know. Yeah, but women are working more and more. You see the very attractive women with the gray hair, prematurely gray hair. Always prematurely gray. That's yeah. mine is too. That's yes. why I wear a wig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just get mine colored. Do you? Yeah, I do that too occasionally. Yeah. yeah. Great. Ni nice talking to you, Nan. Good Nan Troutman from Troutman Profiles. Take a bow. Okay. okay. And we'll be back to you now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to start. We're going to start now with the directors, the pageant directors. We have a couple of them here tonight. And we would like to start with uh, Miss 
USA pageant state director. Does that sound Correct. good? Correct. That sounds that's, beautiful. Is that wonderful? That's wonderful. Uh, your name is Donna Lee. Donna Lee. And how long have you been? How long have you been uh, director of uh, the USA pageant here in Portland and Oregon? Five years. Five beautiful years. Well, I was hoping you were to say that. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> is it a business? Do you make money? No. Not yet, but maybe one day. Not yet, maybe one day. Uh huh. Yeah. I, uh, um, do you get a lot of sponsors from uh, the local business people? And mm, after a fashion, huh. but but not the green kind of sponsorships. Oh, like hairspray and. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and shoes. And shoes. And clothing and um, jewelry for the young ladies. And my sponsors are marvelous, wonderful for what I have. We work very hard. My young ladies and I work very hard, don't we, Elaine? We do. And we're, um, we're really doing quite well. You give us another year or two, and we'll outdo Texas. Everybody. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll be right over to this part of the didn't I uh, meet uh, your Miss Oregon at a beauty show, not long ago, beauty supply show or something, not long ago, and you have a car. Yes. Is that donated by one of the... No, no, that's my car. <laughs> but you did meet um, Miss Oregon USA 1987, uh -huh. Tammy Primiano. It was a fun time. Yes. But, but I, oh, I thought, oh, I see, you just have your... I thought it was uh, donated by someone, and I... No, that would be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe we'll get a limo or something. Maybe, maybe. maybe How maybe. about a Rolls? I'd take that. I would too. <laughs> Pat Benson's here, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, <laughs> Pat Benson is the Portland pageant director, and you just completed um, you just completed uh, how many weeks getting ready, and your pageant was just recently? Saturday night. We crowned a new winner. A new Miss Portland. A new Miss Portland. Oh, she is. Is it money-making idea for Miss Portland? Is it, uh, do you make money off this? If Are I, you getting wealthy by this? If I got back what I spend every year, I could retire and be independent. You take care of Darcel. Yes. Oh, right. Yes. We could afford your. We could afford now. my little home. <laughs> List, um, but your pageant is um, your pageant is uh, uh, talent. Talent. Uh, Actually, it's a scholarship pageant. Scholarship pageant. Yes. Not to say beauty pageant. Not to say beauty pageant, they just happen to turn out to be beauty. You can see. Yes, they are. But, 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 but there uh, is a talent required. And, and wait now, is there a talent required in the Miss USA pageant? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> there is no talent requirement. There is no GPA talent or GPA requirement. However, certainly doesn't have hurt to have both. To, to have both. Right. It really shines when they have it. And yeah. I think that the scholarship and the talent requirement for the Oregon pageant is wonderful. I support those young ladies just like I support my own. But um, you see, when the, my girls get to nationals, they are in line for, if they win, over $200,000 in prizes and money. And with that kind of and money, those girls can have any kind of a scholarship or education that they would like. That's true. That's true. And, <laughs> and yours is a scholarship fund when they go to Miss America. Right. And there are a lot of people who would like to see a feud between the Miss Oregon pageant itself and the Miss Oregon USA, but I don't see any problem. I think they're both excellent programs. And that's why I'm running back and forth half a block apart. That's why you separated. That's why you separated by men in the middle who will handle all the difficulties as they come your way. I have to now talk to the ladies that have graciously adorned our stage. I'm going to get my list out. You'll have to just shine on the ladies for a moment because um, we just spoke about the Miss Portland pageant being this last Saturday night, and Shelley Kaiser was, was the outgoing. 
You were last year's Miss Portland. You're beautiful. Are you married? <laughs> no? But you can't. She hasn't had time since Saturday. Oh, oh, that's no. right. You can't be married during. Well, that brings up a whole series of questions here. Your titles include Miss Portland, Miss Lane County, Miss East Washington County, Miss Oregon, USA. 1983, and I love her dearly. 1983, <laughs> and Miss Oregon Teen. Well, that's. Come on, don't you think? <laughs> no, I tell you, and uh, <laughs> we are going to let you talk, you know. Uh, and how um, have you always? I mean, obviously, since you were a teen. When did you start thinking I want to be involved in a beauty pageant? Well, I, I, I guess I really didn't think of it in those terms uh, as a beauty pageant because at the age of thirteen, it's hard to think of a pageant as being a beauty pageant. But the younger teen pageants are basically um, talent-oriented or academic-oriented, and that's how I became involved. I started out in a modeling class, the old Wendy Ward modeling self-improvement programs, and my teacher, I hope she never watches this, but my teacher <laughs> was playing favorites, I felt, and really wasn't giving me a chance. And at the end of a year, once you go through so many classes, you can then enter what's called the pace setter pageant. And I wanted to show that I was every bit as good as those other girls that she played favorites to. And so I entered the pageant and I won. And Correct. that, that led to So what we're talking about, obviously, some, I see my wife, a question on here, it says, what role does ego play? <laughs> and you just hit it for me. You just started it. Somebody was tampering with your ego and saying you weren't good enough and you know damn well you were good enough. Right. I think that's why I continued with the pageants, too, is because once somebody tells you that you aren't good enough, the first thing you want to do is prove them wrong. And so I continued and continued, and I don't know, maybe I'll continue even more. <laughs> well, yes, because don't they have a Mrs. You? You know, you can be, well, I don't want to get you married, by the way. <laughs> Why am I worried about you? Would <laughs> you get married, please? <laughs> awesome. That, says that too has been going on for five years, and he's been saying the same thing. <laughs> Miss Oregon, Miss Oregon, Laura Mathis McShane, hello. Now, uh, you are married now. Yes, past Miss Oregon. Oh, past Miss Oregon. But oh, do you, oh, really? <laughs> well, see, in our, in, uh, when, we, when we play like Empress and things, and I wear a crown, all those crowns over there happen to be worn by some folks that I know. Um, we never lose a title. You lose a title? You lose the title. Well, I don't lose the title. You, I'll always be Miss Oregon 1982. Right, and you should be. She's beautiful, isn't she? Beautiful? And you're married now. No children. Um, did you start early on in your childhood? Well, actually, I went to my first pageant when I was uh, in high school, the Junior Miss program, which is a high school, uh, used to be seniors only pageant, and won that and went on to the Oregon Junior Miss, and did real well there, and went to the Miss Oregon pageant and watched and thought. What, 49 other women there? I think so. Is that what it is? <laughs> It's yeah. more now, but they've added it's Alaska. It's more. How, well, they, they, they added Alaska since then. <coughs> Hawaii or something. No, no, no. They've added Washington, D.C. Be careful they added Alaska. She's not, she hasn't been Miss Oregon that long ago. No, she <laughs> it was Washington, D.C. that's added D.C. There are, put you away here. No, there are 51 uh, states. But 51 states. Washington, D.C. Washington is oh, the sorry. added Columbia. Yeah. Oh, so the added. District of Columbia added one. So mm -hmm. uh, for pageant reasons, we have 51 states. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, <laughs> isn't that nice? We'll have to <laughs> change the flag, yeah. <laughs> 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 you never even see all the girls. You never even see them? No, I mean, you maybe there was the, the very first night we were all there, there was a, a function, a cocktail party, and all the girls were there, but you never really get to see all the girls or talk to all the girls. It's just too much going on. Rehearsals, competition, um, parade, the different things for every night. But well, when you do see them, do you look around and say, oh my God, 
look at her. She's got legs clear up to her. <laughs> <laughs> Laura has legs clear up to her. <laughs> do you really look at, well, you get those ideas? That you must, I mean, the competition must absolutely be fierce when you get that. It is. I mean, basically, any one of the winners, when the, any one of the state winners could be Miss America. So you don't, at least I didn't really care. I mean, you have to really compete against yourself once you get to that level because anyone, almost any one of the girls who are there could be Miss America. Uh, they keep you isolated from the press. They keep you isolated from your friends. Family. The whole family, the whole thing. You can't see your sponsor. You can't see anybody during the whole thing. Your chaperone and under certain circumstances. Um, the director. Perhaps family. But you've got to have chaperones around and only in certain places. Uh-huh. And you must be a miss. You must not be married. Oh, me? No, I mean, <laughs> when you're going back and... Oh, you mean then? There, oh. then. Then. Right. No, no, no. No, now you're married. Okay. Yes, we no. understand that. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. But, right, you can't be married. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you said that. Give her, the, give her a hand. That's <laughs> nice. And we have Miss Town, Miss Tan, Miss Brown, Miss Cheryl Brown, Miss Tan Portland. Here. You won your title? In 1987. In 87. Mm -hmm. And is it a pageant here in Portland? And where is it held? Uh, the pageant is usually held at Dollar Center downtown. Dollar Center. Uh-huh. And um, is it, it, how many ladies uh, competed do you call? There were approximately nine young ladies. And do, is there talent involved? There's, you have four different competitions. Mm -hmm. The first competition is your talent competition. And then you go on to your modeling competition, your gown, your evening gown. And then they have the opening number, which you do a scene made together by the producer. And then they go on and they choose from that. And then you get points for each thing. Exactly. Do you have do you, do you a swimsuit look? Yes, swimsuit competition. Did you do a swimsuit look? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they don't call it a beauty pageant. Right. No. <laughs> Did you do a swimsuit pageant? Well, a, pitch, a swimsuit park? My pageant, the Portland pageant, is a preliminary to the Miss Oregon, so everything that we do has to correspond with that pageant. But the swimsuit is only a small portion of it. Fifty percent of your judging is on talent. Both of That's what they say. They both want to. <laughs> That's what they say, but I can imagine the judges sitting there going, look at her, she's tap dancing her heart out. And she... Actually, though, there are some past Missourians who really, I mean, they like, kill me. Go ahead, yes, tell them. This is her dish tonight. But they don't really have like great swimsuit figures. I mean, it really does play a small part. It's not really for the judges to see their, their figure. But more so that the judges can see how they handle perhaps a difficult situation. I mean, you're in a swimsuit and high heels in front of all these people. And also, um, they believe, I, I believe, they think that one's physical appearance um, corresponds with how they feel about themselves. So you think the judges get that involved in, in what's happening? I, I think I've judged things, and boy, it's hard to do that in a minute or two. Hello, Miss I, Oregon, USA. Do you do a swimsuit? I sure Swim, do. Swimsuit? Look, I can't say it tonight. I sure do. And uh, um, if you, <laughs> all you ladies, if you do a swimsuit look and you're not too, well, can you do what I do? <laughs> can you pat yourself in the swimsuit? In the Miss America, Miss America they can. USA, in the Miss USA pageant, you cannot pad stuff. It's no Kleenex, no Kleenex, no Kleenex. That's right. God gave you. That's it. <laughs> and do they check? Yeah. I mean, somebody's walking <laughs> around. When we're in the back, when we're preparing, when we're putting our evening gowns and our swimsuits on, they make sure that we're not check. taping. Wiring stuff. He wants to do the oh, check. Honestly. Miss Laurel Andrews would be out of business. <laughs> <laughs> but the American passion is I understand that they can stuff. We're going to go back and see. <laughs> <laughs> you can, huh? Oh, yes. I'm not asking you if you did. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask that question. That'd be I'll very rude. I do. Because when I lose enough weight to be, and, and this is where we differ with what they're looking for in a model, what they're looking for really in the pattern is a, a slimmer looking girl, you lose it for a step here. 
And so I have to add a little bit. I've noticed that too with me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have Kathy Freeman, Miss, the current Miss Tall Portland. I am very proud to have you here. I'm going to go around and talk over here and look straight forward so we can see it. And your, your title, they have a party, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> because I heard about your party was on Swan Island and, and they closed uh, Eve's Kitchen and they all those places during COVID. <laughs> you hope closed the whole city. And how long have you been Miss Portland? Um, Miss um, Tall Portland. A month. Yeah. A month. And how tall are you, Miss Tall Portland? Six feet and one half inch. Escort Darcel. <laughs> I can't find him tall enough for Darcel. Um, and do, are, is it, would you like? Oh no! Oh, no, they're gonna think you're kinky. <laughs> Your title is strictly Miss Paul. Uh, Miss Paul. Miss Paul. Yeah. Do you compete in other? Uh, like, will you go to a national? I'll go to an international convention in Los Angeles. International convention? Uh -huh. Hey, hey, Miss Oregon, Miss USA. <laughs> <laughs> international. I know you are international. Now it comes to me. I've seen that uh, in Venezuela and wonderful places Miss like Universe. that you can travel to. Um, uh, so where, it's going to be in L.A. Yes. And you do swimsuits? Yes. <laughs> and do you pad? Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> Would you pad if you wanted to? Well, I just <laughs> I love the natural look too, don't you, Nan? But she doesn't need a pad. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. This is the expert here telling us that she doesn't need a pad. Um, it's gotta be a favorite to call out, you know. <laughs> Actually, I, I take it from me, it doesn't fall out. They don't fall out. No. <laughs> um, so you're gonna, when is your com competition? It's July 5th. July 5th. And uh, um, how do you think it'll do? Are you excited by it? I, yes, How I'm many excited. contestants? How many contestants? Um, they were expecting 48, but I think it's gonna be like about 25 or so. Oh good, the, the, the margin of error there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 13 to 1 from 12, and they're all 48 clubs, as I understand. However, not every club always has a Miss City. Oh, Miss Miss, Paul, sitting next to you is the lady who, who I met a few months ago. Uh, her and her uh, group, tall, called the Skyliners. Sky Portland Skyliners uh, came in to visit us, and uh, I said, "Let's do a show with crown holders, with title holders." And I'm so glad. Megan, hi. Hi there. Miss Paul Portland, 1987. 1987. Now, I, um, did you do a swimsuit look? I didn't have to do it here. I did have to do it in Philadelphia, and I didn't need any padding anywhere. <laughs> did you pad anyway? <laughs> oh, no. How tall are you, Megan? I'm six foot four. Six four. She's gorgeous. Six Whoa, four. And you know, <laughs> man, well, man, man, you love it. They wear heels. Don't you love it? <laughs> no, I mean, how many women uh, have you seen over the years scrouch down and and not wear and wear flats and try everything yeah. in the world not to be tall? And it's so I was always I've always been so proud every when I first met Megan that Megan and I said you got heels on Megan. So <laughs> with, with heels you're what seven two? Huh? <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I asked ourselves how tall. <laughs> really? Oh, good. You know what? We're going to keep you around. We have we have uh, run out of our, our first half hour, and we haven't even started. So we're going we're gonna to keep you over until next week. You won't mind spending the week with Darcel here. <laughs> <laughs> just, it, the, the kitchen's fine. The bar's full. So we're just, we're, everything's great. So just hold on to what you're doing. I'd like to remind our audience that we do take live uh, here at Darcel 15, and we'd love to have you join us in our audience. And we'd like you to give us a little, um, drop, drop us a card and uh, with your name, address, and we will send you a, a, a taping schedule of our shows, and then your name will go into a 
gigantic hat, <laughs> big hat, and uh, we will draw each week at dinner for two here at Darcel 15 for just writing in and I'll send you an autographed photo of Darcel oh, and, right. you'll, uh, uh, and anybody else who wants, you want to send an autograph photo of yourself too? Oh, sure. Sure, <laughs> anybody has got one. <laughs> and my phone number. <laughs> and the phone number. <laughs> so we would love to, love to have you. Uh, and then we'll, you can come and join us for dinner at Darcel 15. And, and if you win, we'll draw them every week uh, throughout our, uh, this scheduled uh, series of uh, Darcel and Company. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, very happy to have you here. And our audience has been wonderful tonight. And remember, one of the first things we do at Darcel 15 is we learn to laugh at ourselves, and then we can laugh at everybody else. <laughs> and until we meet again, please take the time and make somebody happy. Thank you. Fifteen and company.